Going back together. Kind of taking a quick vid. Oh, quick vid. Quick vid. Front wheels I sprayed with, what is that called? The, cold galvanized. Yeah, powder. cold galvanized, but it's the brights, the bright. It doesn't look all that bright, but that's what I sprayed it with. And Connor's painting the back wheels right now with a foam brush, aluminum. And the stuff goes on really nice, huh, Con? Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's kind of watery. Yeah, a little watery. A little runny, but whatever. We got the radiator on. You got stuff buttoned up. Pretty close to being able to put water in it. Maybe, maybe that's what I had to do. And we'll know if there's any leaks before we put the hood on and all. It takes forever to do these little things like the wiring harness. Con, what do you think? I made a new wiring harness. You can buy them for what, 250 yeah, I saw them for 250 I think 175 or something for one that was cheesier looking. Yep. So you made this one. We got wire. We made this one. We traced. We marked everything when we took it apart. And then TC labeled everything for me on the, on the brand new regulator. So that we hooked that all up right. Yeah, because we're staying, we're staying 6 volt and we're going with the positive ground stuff. We're not changing any of that. We're not right. really we're just, it's original. It's going to stay this way. So, so this is the way we got the battery connections. The red one goes to positive still. Black goes to negative, but then once you get up, if you trace it up, all that you got it fed out nice. That's how that goes, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> I know it's it's funny. It's almost like electric start was an afterthought on these things. I guess it was because they did have the crank start. I'd have to hate to have the crank start this monstrosity. Yep. But anyway, so then we ran it up here and the the red or orange, it looks more orange goes to the ground. So that's the positive going to ground. This is the negative going to the battery hot, uh, to the starter hot side. And then this goes back to the amp meter. That one's just on the amp meter by itself. And that's what feeds power. Put a little uh, ignition indication light here. That comes up red when you pull the, pull the ignition switch on. And it makes the, alt, the amp meter dip. So we know it's, we think it's pretty close to being right. Yeah, I think it's right. So we're getting close to getting ready to start this thing up. You got the gas line on, but she's looking pretty good. We got some runs to sand out, but other than that, it's, it's really, really nice. What'd you do? Touch it all up? I did. With a foam brush, I mixed up some paint with the hardener. Mm -hmm. Nice. Like we did when we sprayed it. How'd it come out? I didn't, you know, I didn't get these lips, so I was able to sponge brush those lips, so they got paint on them. Yep. You can paint that little piece. Yep. Sponge. Trouble areas are like the undersides of these rods. Yeah. You know, these rods where they go through that hole, you can get those yep. and the undersides and where these pins are. You know, you hit this spot here, it looks good. Yep. The foam brush let it lay on pretty nice, didn't it? Yeah, if you splotch it, it gives it the texture and then it kind of light lays out. And the wheels, because I didn't get under the wheels, so I hit them. And that probably. I got a little more paint left over. I'll probably Used up quite a bit, didn't you? Looking at more spots. I painted that light. I got it on the, on the stove right now, baking it. You're cooking it? That's gonna be the backup light? That's the backup light. That's it overnight, then you're gonna put it together? Or you probably hope probably it dry sooner. This afternoon, got this switch. I gotta make the hole a little bigger in the light. Nice. Yeah. That's a two-way, because it the light has a, a red light for when you're going down the road, and then a regular light for when you're Plowing at night. Back and up. Night yep. plowing. Which night around here is five o'clock lately. <laughs> so Yes, thank you, daylight savings time. Not so unrealistic. Far left up. Reverse. You got a break on. Off. You can't wait to get the hood on. You want to get it out and run around with it. So is this like, uh, it's topless. Does that make it tractor porn? I don't know. job for we're gonna pull that truck over here and get it back into the shop before snowy rainy crap tomorrow but anyway there she is looking good well we got the pressure washer out again Connor just can't stay away from it 
the last nice day of the year. Is it? Yeah. Boy, look at it taking that grime off. That's good. Using the hot water. Plus, we had it running and the blocks, everything's warm, so some of that grease is coming off. That's getting much cleaner. So we don't know when we're gonna get to it, but at least it'll be clean when we do, so. That's a step in the right direction. Well, the motor runs good. It's got good compression. There's no reason to rip into it. So it's really just clean it up and paint it. Yeah. You know? Right, but you gotta park these in a shed, so we're gonna park it under the roof over there and, and keep her nice and dry. How long we had this tractor, Con? Uh, almost 10 years. Yeah, we've had it for quite a while. Yeah, we pulled gang mowers with it at the barbecue. Gotta love these old G's. But what else we got done? Uh, the old man finally got the old girl painted up, so might as well take her for a spin, huh? Yeah, see what the old girl will do. I just took it down the road and back. Oh boy, this brute's got power. What a old powerhouse. But she looks pretty good. We're not completely done yet. We still have to do, he's got, he's got the lights on it. He made sure the lights work. But anyway, we still have to do, we got some runs to take out. We gotta get the decals on. I think the old girl came out pretty nice. She sounds good too. I guess I can shut her down. She's all charged up. That shuts her down. Yeah. But anyway, the thing, she runs like a top. But the brakes, I gotta do something about the brakes. I'd hate to pull a parade wagon and have the, have the brakes not be good. It's, uh, if anybody's got advice on how to make these brakes work better, or do I just gotta start doing leg presses or something? Because they're, they're tough. You really gotta stand on them. Anyway. I like doing projects like this old M and we're gonna get that old G painted up too and make her look good. So if you like that kind of thing, like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Tune in for the next one.